The Smithsonian Faculty Fellowship Program represents a rewarding academic professional development opportunity for faculty at Montgomery College. The fellowships are a product of a unique collaboration between Montgomery College and Smithsonian's Center for Education and Museum Studies. It's the first of its kind between the Smithsonian Institution and a community college. Zachary Benavides earned a BA in Broadcast Journalism at Arizona State University, an MA in Writing at Johns Hopkins University, and an MA in English at Georgetown University. Zach has presented at local and national writing and teaching conferences. He is also a fiction writer whose work has appeared in the Arlington Literary Journal and Yellow Medicine Review. From 2011 to 2012, he served as the editor-in-chief of the Potomac Review, and he is a former fiction editor of 42 Opus, an online journal. He also serves as the college-wide coordinator for MC Pride and Allies, Montgomery College's faculty and staff organization for an accepting MC. At MC Rockville, he has taught composition, literature, creative writing, and women's studies. I'm an English teacher, so I wrote a paper. <laughs> so uh, I'll read it and, and uh, guide you through the slides. Uh, there's no dance or movement in my... Uh, I know. Well, just imagine me fluidly moving. All right, my title is uh, Relating Identity and Social Issues Through Museum Objects. This year's Smithsonian Fellowship theme, American Experience, the Quest for Identity, fit well with my e English 102 argument course, which has long carried a theme call, I call Redefining Difference. At the foundation of my course is the work by feminist theorist and black lesbian mother warrior poet Audre Lorde. Lorde rejects the use of binaries, dominant, subordinate, good, bad, up, down, superior, inferior, black, white, gay, straight, us, them. She urges the recognition of differences as useful rather than detrimental toward creating social change. Many students today accept the notion that age, race, class, gender, and sexuality no longer matter. They often blindly accept the, the idea that we are all equal. But as soon as we read about the racial and class tensions experienced during the Hurricane Katrina event, my students face a critical challenge. Many find that they have more complex relationships with traditional forms of identity, which demonstrates that our national narrative, no matter how far we've come, return to, returns to age, race, class, gender, and sexuality as benchmarks from which we, we derive our own senses of self. So these are um, the objectives that I had for my class to incorporate my, uh, the course theme, Redefining Differences, with the fellowship theme, American Experience, the Quest for Identity, with the English department goals to teach research skills and argument techniques. Uh, through all this, my personal objective was to have students recognize how their own identities influence the ways they approach arguments and the ways they argue their positions on social issues. For my project, students visited three exhibits at the National Museum of American History. They visited the slavery at Jefferson's uh, Monticello, Paradox of Liberty, American Stories, and The Price of Freedom, Americans at War. They journeyed through the exhibit's ranges of artifacts. For example, Jefferson's portable desk at Slavery at Monticello, and uh, Muhammad Ali's boxing gloves at the American Exhi uh, Stories exhibit, and pinups of women during World War II, The Price of Freedom, through the museum objects, the students discovered various narratives of the American experience. They were assigned to find one object in one of the three exhibits that they could connect to an identity category. This object and its related identity category were then developed into a broader research project, one in which they would argue positions on a social issue. For example, Celia Cruz's custom designed shoes led Carlos Marquina to research the values of immigration. Carlos wrote, I was able to view firsthand the shoes that Celia Cruz wore during one of her first performances after fleeing Cuba. It inspired me that America saw the cultural and artistic value that she had to offer. Carlos's paper focused on three benefits Amer immigrants offer American society, cultural diversity, economic contributions, and, the way, and a way to remember the historical significance of the first immigrants to the United States. Veronica Gonzalez was drawn to a pink quinceanera dress. Veronica wrote, the dress immediately took me back five years ago to the memories of my own celebration. 
She also offered some research history. Quote, this ritual goes back to the Aztec civilization when this rite of passage meant that a girl was now ready to be introduced to society as a woman. And she argued that perhaps the quinceanera ritual is losing some of its significance by being overshadowed by the American ideal of prosperity. Through big parties, Latin families are showing society, she wrote, that they have made it in America or have reached the American dream, thus losing sight of the true meaning of the ritual. Edwin Guzman connected with a baseball used uh, by the Negro League. He wrote, quote, as a 19-year-old Latino, I can understand the same feeling as an African-American. I've gone through many events in my life that have involved racism in sports in my daily life. He cited the two years of tryouts it took him to join his high school lacrosse team, tryouts that might have had something to do with his race, he thinks. But through his research, Edwin also learned that Latinos were a ticket in for some black baseball players. Quote, something that really surprised me was the fact that some baseball owners and managers of major league teams tried to hire African Americans by saying that the players were Hispanic or Native American because many athletes were from Cuba and the Dominican Republic. This project turned up some very interesting papers that synthesized the topic of my class, Redefining Difference, with the Smithsonian Fellowship's theme, American Experience, the Quest for Identity, together with the English Department's objective for English 102, which again is uh, that students learn research skills and argument techniques. While reflecting on the project, one student said, I paid more attention to the objects and got to research more about them. Also, it gave me an opportunity to relate to the objects with the daily activities in the world. Another student said, I never thought a museum component would relate to something relevant around me before. <laughs> and another student said, finding Kermit the Frog and the Pokemon Pikachu being used as exhibits in a museum was really special. For me, guiding students through the Smithsonian project, witnessing them remain open to the experience, and reading the connections they made among museum objects, our course materials on the values of difference, and their personal identities were very special indeed. In the end, my Smithsonian Fellowship experience can be best described in the inspirational words of Kermit the Frog. Someday, we'll find it, that rainbow connection, lovers, the dreamers, and me. Thank you.